And from Southern California and around the nation, we are celebrating Juneteenth. It's also called <laughs> Freedom Day, marking the end of slavery in the U.S. Many are spending the day enjoying festivals and great food. And joining me now, community leader and business owner Laura Ball, as well as Maude Johnson. She's trying to stand off in the <laughs> distance there. They're here to share this historic and delicious dessert. It's the Southern Tea Cake. And a lot of folks who... I have a Southern parents, so I know about the tea cake, but a lot of people don't. So give us a little history about the tea cake. Okay, so um, the tea cake originated in Europe. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, it found its way through the colonies when uh, everybody migrated to the United States. Mm -hmm. However, um, when the slaves were tasked mm -hmm. with making it, they had to reimagine the tea cake. Yes. And because we didn't have the, all of the ingredients, you mm -hmm. know, they had to create, they were creative. Very as creative. As we know we can be. <laughs> yes. And so they had to make this dessert for uh, the Mrs. Uh, mm -hmm. Afternoon Tea Party. Yes. And so a lot of the tea cakes might have been made with sorghum mm -hmm. or molasses mm -hmm. or honey. Yes. And, um, and sometimes with lard because butter was at a premium. Yes. So you'll find that there are a lot of different recipes for tea cakes. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are rolled out. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer the drop method because mm -hmm. I like to make everything look taste like it was hard to make, <laughs> yes. but make sure that it was easy to do. Oh, easy and to do. And that's why mm -hmm. I've created um, a really easy method mm -hmm. that tastes with all the homemade taste of my mom, mm -hmm. but um, it's easy to do. Yes, and you've so, even made it really easy with the yes, mix. Yes, and so I have the only mix in the country, yes. and so it's so easy. In 30 minutes or less, you did with eggs and butter, and you've mm -hmm. got your tea cake. And it's so important because the tea cake is intrinsic to the African-American experience. Mm -hmm. It is um, a symbol of our resilience. Yes. And how we took something that was meant really not for us, mm -hmm. but we turned it into something good. Yes. And it evokes um, family mm -hmm. and home and hearth. You mm -hmm. know, it's just, it's, um, you know, it's a symbol that is like bagels to the Jewish community mm -hmm. yes. or tortillas to the mm -hmm. Latino community. Yes. Yes. And our young people are, are, are missing out because yes. they're losing that history. They are. And they so are. I'm really hoping, as a lot of people are, mm -hmm. that somehow we'll be able to bring, you know, the mystique and the warmth of the tea cake back. Yeah, so let's make some. Okay, so it's so simple. So mm -hmm. you're going to start with creaming your butter. Okay. And we, we, uh -oh. uh, you always want to start with softened butter. So no, take take oh. your butter and put, put, it, put it in here. Okay. Okay. I'm looking like a novice here. <laughs> I do bake a little bit. <laughs> so cream your butter. Okay. I was just thinking I've never used this mixer, so I'm hoping. So just, what you're going to do is just push it up to three. Oh, okay. Uh oh, oh boy. Three the butter. So let's turn it down just okay. a little bit there. Okay, then you add your eggs. Okay. Cream those together. Okay, usually I'd use a little deeper uh, dish, but. Mm -hmm. And you don't even have to make it till it's creamy. You can all, and now you can add your mix. Okay. So if you okay. get the mix, Marty. Marty will help us with the mix. Now I like to dump mine all in, but oh, okay. some people, but a lot of people go like slow. to go a you little want me to bit. Go a, little slow? a lot of people like to go, yeah, go slow. A lot of people like to do a little at a time. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh boy. Yeah, so you go. Are you on low? Yeah. Yeah, it's on low. Okay, go a little bit more. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna blame this on Maud. <laughs> <laughs> go a little bit more. Okay. How are we doing, Maud? Okay, good. Put, put some okay. more in. Okay, we'll do a little more. You're doing great. Okay. Doing great. Okay. okay. I would I would normally have a, uh, I didn't bring a bigger bowl. That's no, okay. okay. But what we would do then, because so, I don't want so to run out of time. Do? So what you're going to end up with is, Okay. let's put that to the side. Okay. So this Magic is some mix I've already made. Okay, It'll end up with great. that. Mm -hmm. And I like to scoop because okay. it'll give you, um, it'll give you um, pretty easy um, and and uh, uh, okay. uniform. Okay. So and of course scoop. we do this. Yeah. And uh oh. Okay. Here we go. Scoops come on, mm -hmm. and then you put them I, in the oven. I like to flatten mine. Oh, okay. So okay. I like to flatten mine. So now, if you, you could do it like this, and there'll okay. be bubbles. Uh -huh. And so I like to just take and flatten. Oh, okay. 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 And then what you end up with is Marty. 
perfect. You put the one over. You, okay, so a you perfect end up with the tea cake, tea cake there. right there. And then okay. if you sprinkle, I like to sprinkle mine with confectioner okay. sugar. Okay, okay. To make them look pretty. And they are beautiful. Yes. Well, thank you so much <laughs> for joining us. And of course, you can find more information about Laura Ball and Juneteenth celebrations by going to our website, kcalnews.com, and click Scene on TV.